what up guys today i'm gonna tell you all the bigner stuff about guitars and the very first time you're touching your guitar you should know these particular things and uh, before i get to that if you still haven't subscribed please subscribe because you don't want to miss out on all the important things before you start your guitar lessons so yes let's get to it right away so the first lesson about uh, your guitar will be the naming of strings so yes uh, before I get to that I would also you know let you know that when you count your strings your guitar strings you should count it from below yes so from below it's one two three four five and six so that's how you count your guitar strings and the naming of strings let's get to that yes so the naming of strings would be your first string would be E E for elephant yeah and your second string will be B B for bat ball yeah uh, the third string would be G G for graph yeah and uh, the fourth string would be a D D for dog yeah and uh, your fifth string will be an A A for Al Davis if you know what I mean and the, your last and final string will again end with an E so this is an higher pitch of an E and this is a lower pitch of an E and this is about the naming of strings so the next lesson would be about tuning your guitar where do I tune my guitar where do I you know twist to get the right tone it would be this these particular uh, six nuts would be the ones that you have to you know a twist while you get your right tune for your string so the first uh, twist would be for your last string E string your second twist would be for your fifth string that's an A and that would be this the third would be for your fourth string D yeah and uh, then you just go below and uh, number one from the other side that would be for your G string tuning and then followed by your B string tuning and your E string tuning so yes that's about the tuning lesson uh, where you will have to use to you know twist them and get the right and accurate tones for your uh, strings so that you could you know rock while you play and you could use the help of apps and also uh, I've also have a lesson to to know how whether your guitar is in tune or not after you do it so I, I will place that link in my description so the next lesson the next lesson would be what is a fretboard what is a fretboard yeah the fretboard is just you know this particular piece this piece and the use of these fretboards would be uh, your tones while you press your strings you know like right now I'm playing an F it's on the first fret I move to G it's on the third fret I move to A on the on the fifth fret yeah so that's that's the use of the fretboard yeah and uh, this part of the guitar is called a neck yeah this is where you could you know uh, be so comfortable holding your chords and playing them it would really help you while you play your uh, you know the support that you have when you play your uh, bar chords your open chords everything so the next lesson would be what is a bridge what is a bridge how do I get a bridge on my guitar so this is this is where uh, this is a part where we you know uh, put our strings this is where we insert the strings this particular thing is supposed to be removed your uh, your string is supposed to be put into it and then press this peg into it and then you place it right into this particular division so that uh, you could get the right you know setting for your string and then put it into this while you replace your new strings so that's how you change your strings and uh, and then you can tune them up and that's the use of this particular thing so what is the difference between a semi acoustic and an acoustic guitar an acoustic guitar is something that I don't plug to an amplifier to play it so that it doesn't sound you know uh, through the speakers 
and semi acoustic guitar is the one that I use and yes it has a socket there where I could you know place my uh, cable that is connected to the speakers or a mixer or your amplifier and you know it amplifies the sound and make it sound you know even louder so that's the difference between a semi acoustic and an acoustic guitar so I'm gonna be coming up with even more exciting tips on your guitar and if you don't want to miss them please subscribe and click that bell icon so that I could continue to give you more knowledge and transfer my knowledge on guitar to you. Have a nice day. Cheers.